Uh, former President Trump was welcomed by a huge, lively crowd this weekend at the UFC 290 in Las Vegas. The former president has long enjoyed support from UFC fans, myself included, and even attended fights while in office, even being bringing along Republican lawmakers with him as like a social gathering. So why has this community largely backed the current GOP presidential candidate? Well, let's ask one of them. Joining me now is retired MMA fighter Jorge Mazdaval. Uh, Jorge, appreciate you being here. Look, I love the UFC. I'm a very amateur fighter myself. However, nothing like what you guys do in the Octagon. This is a sport, mano y mano. No garbage. You can't sugarcoat your way around it. Why has this tough crowd, not only fighters, but crowd included, been drawn to Donald Trump? Many reasons. Um, fighters, for the most part, are very individual creatures and not like hive minds. So, you know, a lot of the things that Trump preaches appear to us, you know, um, you get what you put in. If you work, you're 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 gonna get something out of it. A lot of fighters, well, not a lot. All fighters, I would say, is none of them are sitting on their butt waiting for a check from from Corona to hit or anything like that. Fighters are go getters, <laughs> so we we write off rip, see what the policies that Trump says, you know, and and could agree with them. You know, anybody with with half a brain, this is the guy that's allowing you to put money in your pocket and live on and not be shut down. And then just many reasons I could go on to why Trump's. Super the best for us, but one thing that uh that I could definitely say is why isn't there any coverage on the eight ball that was found in the White House of cocaine? Nobody nobody's talking about it. So I wanted to bring that up because imagine if Don Jr. right? Oh, it would have been horrible. And yet for for you know, Trump can't sneeze wrong in public. Right. And here we are, um, in one of the most secure places in the world, I think. I don't know, I've never been to the White House, but maybe you could just walk in and out. And, and nothing happens, but I usually would have thought that you'd have to do some type of sign-in, give somebody your ID, Something. there's cameras everywhere. Because right. now there's, there, there's no owner for this cocaine bag either. So we see that double standard always. I just want to make sure while I was on here, I brought that up. This oh, yeah. No, well, I, I appreciate it. We, this is something I will, believe me, I will never forget about it on this show. But I want to go to something else, too. Obviously, you come from a community of fit, strong people and things like this. But MSNBC, I don't know if they're just weak in general as, like, a culture. But they published an article questioning physical fitness, linking it to, quote, white supremacy, saying... Quote, physical fitness training, especially in combat sports, appeals to the far right for many reasons. Fighters are trained to accept significant physical pain, to be warriors and embrace messaging around solidarity, heroism, and brotherhood. I mean, outside of the white supremacy thing, they kind of nailed it down. Like, I mean, I, why would you not want to be fit to prolong your life? Like all of COVID, we had the same discussion. It was like, wear a mask, don't go to the gym because we're closing them down. I mean, it, it's simple. They're, they're always going to do the same tactics that all the communists have used in other playbooks throughout time and time again, divide and conquer. Now now they want to divide the, the strong people from the weak people. And, and they, it, it's just always the same playbook. Just get everybody to divide that. That is the craziest thing, now to link that to racism. I mean, I, I don't know. I think it was like a year ago that they were also linking math to racism, you know? Whoever, I usually Never. I usually find that whoever's the one pointing the finger, that guy's racist, usually that person's like, oh, biggest racist, yeah. usually, you know? <laughs> and there's nothing that left us better in all those paid programming commercials than, than attack everybody. So now if you're, right. if you're playing basketball, right? You're racist, I mean, it's crazy. Man. Yeah, no, I, Jorge, I appreciate your frankness here. You know, people need to hear more of that. We appreciate you being here very much, sir. Thank you, brother, anytime, man. All right.